During the early 90s, Sonic the Hedgehog was one of the most marketable and popular characters around. And in 1993, with the much anticipated release of Sonic 3 coming up the following year, Sonic hype was at an all-time high. To capitalize on this, Sega launched several promotions to help spread awareness of the Sonic brand and build hype for the new release even further. Some of these promotions include various giveaways, the legendary Sonic 3 McDonald's Happy Meal toys, and quite possibly one of the best-known promotions was that Sonic got his very own balloon in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. That's right, starting in 1993, Sonic could fly in the same parade that has housed timeless characters such as Garfield, Red the Angry Bird, Greg Heffley, Jimmy Neutron himself, Pikachu but specifically this Pikachu holding the smaller Snowman Pikachu, and of course, Felix the Cat. However, the Sonic Balloon actually has a pretty interesting history, as he has made many appearances throughout the years, and has become pretty famous, or, well, maybe infamous with fans of the parade. So, let's take a look at the many appearances and history of Sonic the Hedgehog at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. The Sonic Balloon made its debut in the 67th annual Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade in 1993. The thing that made this balloon's initial appearance so noteworthy is that Sonic was actually the first ever character that originated from a video game to get a balloon in the parade. Jumping all the way, along comes Sonic the Hedgehog. Every kid knows this video game superstar with his bodacious blue spikes and red hot sneakers. Furnished by Sega of America, the Hedgemeister's debut in the parade is already bigger than a Sonic boom. Hey, I must say, Katie, that that Sonic the Hedgehog is looking as sharp as his uh, three rows of spiky quills. I just wonder who gets to scratch his back. Not me, Willard, but thanks for joining us, Sonic. Would you scratch my back? <laughs> Not on your life. Uh as for the design of the balloon itself, despite looking a little strange by today's standards, the balloon is such a classic piece of Sonic history that I can't help but love its design. The one thing that's always been odd to me about it though is that Sonic has a mouth on both sides of his muzzle. However, this is really only an issue if you looked at it from the front. Since the balloon is so huge, chances are people on the sidelines wouldn't have noticed that as it flew by. As Sonic was shown on TV, the song that played was Spinball Theme from the obscure CD release Virtual Sonic. Very interesting choice for a song to play while he's on screen, but definitely a good one. Love them Yankees. Hallelujah. Due to the heavy winds, they were showing you some of our balloons on videotape. We just wanted you to know that it is a really windy day and it could be a bit of a problem. Now, the reason I said Sonic may be more infamous than famous in the Macy's Parade community is that, well, during Sonic's original flight in 1993, the balloon hit a lamppost, resulting in the balloon ripping, which led it to collapse onto the ground. This resulted in it taking down a lamppost, as well as unfortunately landing on a child and a police officer. Thankfully, aside from a few injuries one would sustain after a 21-foot Sonic balloon fell on them, the two made it out perfectly fine. Now, Sonic is by no means the only balloon that has gotten ripped or destroyed during the parade. Given how cold, windy, or overall bad late November weather is where these parades usually take place, it's surprising how many of these giant balloons actually stay in the air. However, I'm sure this incident left a sour taste in the mouth of many regarding Sonic at Macy's. It wasn't good for Sega's PR, that's for sure. Annual Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade today. Winds gusting up to 20 miles an hour battered some of the parade's giant balloons. Poor Rex the dinosaur was blown into a light pole and he popped open. And later a gust of wind blew Sonic the Hedgehog into another light pole. That guy sprung a leak and fell to the street, knocked over a lamppost. A child and a police officer were hit, slightly injured, but they're okay tonight. Yeah, maybe this wasn't as perfect of a marketing plan as Sega had hoped, but I'm sure many remember waking up to see Sonic during the parade, so maybe it was still worth it, regardless of the incident. Despite the balloon's mishap at the 1993 parade, that was by no means the last we saw of it. In fact, the next time we would see the balloon wouldn't even be at a parade. Instead, the balloon was patched up and flew once again at a special Sonic 3 world premiere event that took place in Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania on February 2nd, 1994, otherwise known as Hedgehog Day, Sonic 3's release date. In fact, weeks ago when this was announced, people literally canceled vacations that they were going to take so that they could be here to see uh, the Sonic the Hedgehog balloon and be able to play the game uh, for the first time in the world. Um, and even today, um, how they've walked up to us and said, thank you for doing this. This is tremendous. This event allowed people to come and see the Sonic Balloon, as well as of course play Sonic 3. There was also a second inflatable Sonic, as seen here. While it's not exactly a balloon, this one looks really nice, with lots of art accurate colors and shading that makes it look really high quality. I may even like this one more than the Parade Balloon.
There was even this really great looking Sonic mascot there that you could meet and take pictures with. It seems like this was a really cool event, and of course having the balloon there must have made it even more special. As far as I know though, this was the only time the balloon was used outside of the parade itself. So, let's move on to the 1994 parade, in which it was actually the opening balloon. It was the first one in the parade. That's a pretty huge honor. We do have footage from the opening of the parade, and yeah, there is Sonic. While the hosts were talking about Sonic as he flew by, once again the virtual Sonic rendition of the Spinball theme can be heard playing. This song always played during every appearance of this specific balloon at the parade. Take a look folks, here's Sonic the Hedgehog. I just saw him on the 72nd Street, 77th and 72nd. Sponsored by Seagull America, flies above us right now at 64 feet tall and 26 feet wide. Check out, check out my friend. Ooh baby baby, he's a super hog with massive size. Know something? I bet he could flatten a cement mixer with one dainty little step. Hey, Willard, don't tempt him. <laughs> It's clear the hosts knew that Sonic was a problematic balloon as they would often reference it. Thankfully though, in 1994 at least, nothing bad happened to the balloon despite there reportedly being high winds. In 1995, Sonic was demoted from his opening act status but still continued to be in the parade. Also, he was showcased along with a, get this, Sega Pico bus. Honestly, why am I even making a video about the Sonic balloon when I could be making a video solely focused on the absolute legend that is the Sega Pico bus? As you can see in this article, archived footage, weather was not being very kind to Sonic that day. In fact, it did end up colliding with another lamppost that year. Actually, it did so before the parade even truly began. Come along. Here's a little secret we're going to share with you. You can't tell anybody, though. Each balloon is made in different sections and sealed separately. In fact, very much like myself. That way, if an arm or a leg snags on somebody's penthouse, the balloon can carry on. Could you imagine how stressful it must be to be the people pulling the balloons along? You're carrying this huge 21-foot Sonic held by strings as he violently rocks back and forth. To make up for the fact that Sonic literally died before they could even start talking about him, footage from the 1994 parade was shown again and narrated. So, despite his mishaps, Sonic still managed to make an appearance that year. Here comes the Pico Bus Brigade. I know this computer mantle. Sonic the Hedgehog, he can turn a few video heads, let me tell you. Sonic furnished by Sega of America is a very cool teenager with a spiky quill up and down his back. Is that the new in thing, Willard? Spiky quills? That's a member of spiky quills? One of the our gang group. Maybe I'll try a couple of quills instead of hair next year. It might work for you, Willard, but you better be able to move fast just like Sonic. He's named Sonic because his character can move faster than the speed of sound. At this point in 1996, there really isn't much to say. This year, Sonic flew perfectly fine, which is good to know. However, the hosts definitely played up Sonic's attitude and coolness appeal during his appearance this year. I'll just let the footage speak for itself. He's faster than the speed of sound, that's why they call him Sonic 3D Blast. Deal with it, he is the coolest, but when, when it comes to video game characters, dude, he's the hottest. Sonic is provided by Sega of America Incorporated, dude. Hey, dude. Hey, Katie, let me tell you something. He is one Hampton Hedgehog. Ding the rose of spiky quills down his back. All boosted up for today's parade, did you say? As if, I'd say he's dropping some serious tune. Dude! Oh, that's your line. You lost me, Katie. I don't even know where we are. Moving on to 1997, this would be the last appearance of the original balloon in the parade. Or, well, technically, 1996 was. Sonic was scheduled to appear during this year's parade, but unfortunately, due to very high winds, letting him fly would have been a huge safety risk, so he simply couldn't. However, to make up for this, just like in 1995, footage from the 1994 appearance of the balloon was broadcasted instead. This guy's also cool. He is way cool, although he's a bit deflated this morning because of the wind, but thanks to the wonders of videotape, he's still the dude with the dude. Classic. And this is no hype, dude. This is Sonic the Hedgehog, furnished by Sega of Sega. America. He's way fast, the Chuck Yeager of the video set. So you went by twice that time. You missed him. You got it. Teddy, you really get into this when you do this. Whatever. He's the man. Totally, and has his own rock band, hang glides in summer, and digs winter sports. At 64 feet high, Sonic's taller than a left snowboard. Man, I dig those spiky quills down his back. Probably uses a little sculpted gel.
This was unfortunately the last time we saw this original Sonic balloon, as in 1998, he was retired. While it was never officially stated exactly why they retired the balloon, there are a few suspected reasons. For one thing, it was very clear that this was not the best designed balloon around. It was constantly a risk to fly, and despite looking cool, it probably wasn't seen as practical to keep it in the parade. There's also the fact that around 1998, Sonic really wasn't all that popular. The Sega Saturn wasn't doing well, and with the cancellation of Sonic Extreme, things Things weren't going well for Sonic, so maybe he wasn't seen as popular enough to keep in the parade. Some suspect it could have also been due to the introduction of the modern Sonic redesign at the time, rendering the original balloon outdated, at least by Sega. Whatever the case, Sonic was gone from the parade, and it was unclear whether he would ever return. With his rocky history, maybe it was for the best to shelve him, and that's what they did for years. However, in celebration of Sonic's 20th anniversary in 2011, he was added back into the parade, with a new redesigned balloon. Not only did Sonic make his grand return to the parade in 2011, but he was also once again the leading balloon. Yes, the new and improved modern Sonic the Hedgehog balloon led the 85th annual Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Also, thankfully, this balloon proved to be much better in design as it in fact did not crash into a lamppost. Well, that year at least, so to whoever designed this one, congrats. of Sega's speedy and wildly popular video game toy and TV character with the ability to run at supersonic speed. Sonic is streaking across the sky announcing his 20th anniversary of Sega's release of a new video game called Sonic Generation. Take a good look. This 350-pound inflatable boasts two 22-foot long sneakers, which rockets Sonic down 34th Street toward his next adventure. The modern Sonic Balloon would make a few more appearances at the parade, such as in 2012. There isn't much to be said here, but one thing that's interesting to me is that during this appearance, Sonic was said to not only be the star of video games, TV shows, but also his own toy line. So yeah, given the time frame, congrats Jazzwares, you guys got a shout out at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Sonic the Hedgehog, the star of video games, television, and his own toy line, streaks through the sky. This high-flying, spiky speedster was the first video game character to ever appear in this parade. Sonic has starred in over 70 video games since his debut on the Sega Genesis 21 hog wild years ago. Sonic's newest video game, Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transform, is in stores now. And that brings us to 2013. This year, the Sonic Balloon flew once more, this time being used to promote Sonic Lost World. Sonic the Hedgehog dashing through the morning air. This blue blur can run faster than the speed of sound and has the ability to curl up into a ball like you, Savannah, and mow down your enemies. Sonic was the first video game character to be featured in this parade. Fans are now speeding to stores to capture Sega's latest video game called Sonic Lost World, which pits Sonic against the Deadly Six as he races inside, outside, and upside down using new moves and Unfortunately, despite having successful flights in 2011 and 2012, this year, the balloon did get its arm caught on some nearby trees, but thankfully it wasn't damaged. Sadly though, the 2013 parade was the last time we saw the Sonic balloon. With that said though, Sonic was actually referenced in the 2014 parade. During the parade, there is a performance to a video game medley, in which at one part everyone dances to the original Sonic 1 theme. I guess that's better than nothing. Well, unfortunately, that was the last time Sonic was showcased at all during one of these parades. He wasn't at the 2015 parade, or even the 2016 parade, which would have made sense given that was Sonic's 25th anniversary year. However, I'm sure we'll see Sonic at one of these again eventually, perhaps with the popularity of Sonic Mania and Sonic Forces, as well as the fact that there's a Sonic movie being developed by Paramount Pictures set for release in 2019, I'm sure we'll see Sonic again at the parade someday. Before I end this video, I want to show you guys something rarely talked about when people discuss these balloons at the parade. Take a look at this. 
For every balloon in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, concept art, as well as a model figure has to be created. And thankfully, we have most of this early material archived for the Sonic Balloons. Here's what is said to be the original sketch of the 1993 Sonic Balloon. And here's concept art for the 2011 Balloon. Along with concept art, general promotional artwork for both of the balloons also exists. For example, there's this artwork that was shown at the Sonic 3 promotional event. And there's also this promotional flyer for the 2011 Parade, where you can see a drawing of the modern Sonic Balloon. As cool as the concept art is though, the real prize of these early mock-ups has to be the model figures. Sadly, only a few images of the original balloon's figure are saved, but we do have several shots of the one that was made for the modern Sonic balloon. This is so cool. I would love to see this in person someday. But unfortunately, who knows where this model figure could be nowadays, especially considering the balloon isn't used anymore, or at least hasn't been for the past few years. Honestly, they could make a full line of figurines based off of these model figures, and include the most popular balloons from the parade, which hopefully includes Sonic. It sounds far-fetched, but I'm sure those who have memories of watching these balloons on Thanksgiving Day would love to have figurines of them. It's so great that even with something as simple as a balloon at a parade, Sonic still manages to have an interesting history with it. Who would have thought a Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade balloon would have such a legacy? You don't see me making a video about just any balloon. Sorry, Chicken Little. Guess you should have smashed into a lamppost. But that's basically all there is to say regarding this interesting footnote in Sonic history. I really hope we haven't seen the last of Sonic at Macy's. Hopefully he makes another appearance sometime soon, whether it be with the 2011 balloon or with a new one entirely. It'll be interesting to see where the future of Sonic with the parade leads. But in any case, we can hope that the next balloon doesn't crash into any lampposts.